So I'm almost finished with this presentation. I've typed in everything I need to share about the company's new wellness program, but I'd like to add some pictures to make my slides look a little more interesting. It's easy to insert a picture using the placeholders on your slides. All you have to do is click this icon. However, there are a few other ways to add an image, even if your slide doesn't have a placeholder like this. It all starts with the Insert tab. I already know what picture I want to use for this slide, and I have it saved to my computer. That means I can use the Pictures command to locate the image and insert it. The picture will appear on the slide. To move this picture while it's still selected, I'm just going to click and drag where we have plenty of room over here. Now let's take a look at the next slide. I don't really have an image in mind for this part of the presentation, but PowerPoint does have some built-in options we can use. Just go back to the Insert tab and click the Online Pictures command. From here, you can use Bing to search the web for stock photos, clip art, and other graphics. Or you can access images from your OneDrive account if you have any stored there. You can also just browse the image categories if you need any ideas. Let's try a web search. Just type your search term in the box, then press Enter on your keyboard. By default, Bing only shows images that are licensed under Creative Commons, which means it's okay to use them in your own projects. Just to be safe, though, you should check the image's website to make sure there aren't any restrictions. To find that website, click the icon in the bottom right corner of an image and follow the link you see here. This image looks good. To insert it, I'm going to click the thumbnail, then the Insert button, and the image will appear on the slide. This picture is a little big, but that's an easy fix. To change the size of an image, all you have to do is click and drag the sizing handles here. I'd recommend using the ones in the corner to make sure your image stays in proportion. I'm also going to move it just a bit, and to make it look a little neater, I'm going to use the rotation handle at the top to rotate it. There we go, that looks great. On my next slide, the picture I want to add is a bit more unique. I'm going to use a screenshot. A screenshot is an image of whatever is currently displayed on your screen. For example, I found a website that teaches different aspects of health and wellness, and I'd like to include a picture of it in the presentation. Let's go back to PowerPoint and then Insert, and then Screenshot to take a look at our options. I have two different windows open right now, including an Excel spreadsheet and the website I want to capture. Just click the window you want to take a screenshot of, and now we have a picture of the window on this slide. This isn't exactly what I wanted, though. This screenshot includes other parts of my browser, like the navigation buttons and the status bar. I'd like to see if we can take a picture of just the different topics in the middle. First, I'm going to delete this image by selecting it and pressing Backspace or Delete on my keyboard. Now I'll go to Insert, then Screenshot, and this time I'll select Screen Clipping. This will let us capture part of the page instead of the entire window. We'll also use the same technique we use to draw text boxes. Just click and drag to draw a box around the part of the image you want to capture. The screen capture will then appear on the slide. Resize and reposition the picture if you need to. And there we go. Whether you're working with photos that are already on your computer, online images, or even a simple screenshot, the right pictures can help make your presentations a lot more interesting. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.